Hey guys, Tyrant here bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. Playing today's spawn again in the north we have Moon. Playing his Night Elf and going for the Keeper of the Grove first. Face off against something in the south. It's 15 Sway playing as human. Going for the Archmage and he's going for a very fast can free. One coming in here with the Wisp with the Denates. One in the Water Elemental very low. Treants first coming in here looking for a couple of peasant kills. Detonate. Killing off the water elemental. Looking for level 2 off a militia kill. Doesn't quite get it though. There's a, oh, a bit of blocking. He's eventually going to get the kill. A player's force That's is level 2. Attack. Same story for 15 sway. Archer's coming across. Militia heading back. The map is ordinary, by the way. Got a fast start there, and uh, this one from the WGL uh, semi-finals this time. Okay, looks like he does want to put down an expansion. Peasants are back in the mix on the expansion point. Moon starting up his tech. Walking his Ancient of War across. A player's forces are under attack. Here we go, expansion underway. I'm coming in for the harass. Tangle on the footman, here comes the rest of the human army. And he saved the footy. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I did not check the experience though, didn't see if Moon got that. Looks like he did, the uh, overlay took about a second to register it, so yes he did get the kill. Oh, the mercenaries hide now by Moon, got the Forest Troll Berserker, Forest Troll Shadow Priest. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, he's walking his ancient war across, assisting with the creeping. Smooth sailing so far. This way also doing some creeping. Nice easy camp for him down here. Two and a half. So I'm picking up the boots. Pretty close to level three now. He's using a bit of mana on that Frost Our or Shadow Priest. Are under attack. I mean fewer dispels later on against the water elementals. More experience for 15 sway. Now Moon creeping out the expansion position. The mercenary is really boosting up his damage and he's also going for an expansion up here. Interesting. 15 sway has been playing quite defensively. You know, only gone for those camps super close to his expansion, but is up and running now with an arcane tower, so. Looks like he's going to get a bit more bolt. No, maybe not. Just go for another crew. <laughs> Easy camp. Within running distance. The moon has hit level 3 after the expansion camp. So 50 sway also going to hit level 3 with this green camp. A player's forces are under attack. Footman out the front spots the... Night of Army incoming. Stops by the shop. Picks up boots a and a staff. Siege. And he's going to come in for the cancel on Moon's expansion. Maybe that's what he's hoping for. But Moon's expansion is up here. He hasn't scouted this. Does not find Moon's expansion. So in some trouble in his own base. Not going back to defend. In fact, he's going on the offensive coming across. They do have a demon hunter fresh out of the altar. Players' forces are under Two attack. Two wisps detonated so far. For the cancel on the law. Now going for some more lumber harass, and it looks like Moon going to come back and try and defend this. It's pretty important timing for him. Losing out on those brides going to slow him down quite a lot. Survives. Well done by 15 sway. Good counter attack, you know. It's worried it might backfire, but Moon decided to come back and defend it. 
It does also kind of work out somewhat in Moose's favor since his army's now back here. Can assist with creeping out his actual expansion position. But either way, that play working out nicely for 15 sway. A player's forces are under attack. Let's complete his tech. Putting in some trouble from the entangle. Good damage though onto the keeper. Keeper does have the boots, so he's pretty fast, but sim story. For the Archmage. Popping off entangle after entangle. Oh, dispel from the Frost Troll Shadow Priest. A player's Starting force 15 is sway, picking attack. it up. Oh, but the footman does not escape alive. The creeps pick him off. I suppose it's better than Moon getting the experience though. Another footman down. Keep her just about out of mana though, so. Oh, and a wow, Nugget Sea Witch picked up. Big damage onto the keeper because of that. Gonna make use of this water elemental, try and finish off this creep camp. We do have the demon hunter incoming. Expansion camp crept up nicely. Comes up with the detonate. Oh, our stroll shadow priest out the back. Still alive. I've got the healing ward down. Healing him up. Healing ward cancelled. This way, determined to finish off this camp. He doesn't have a town portal, so has to find his way out of this. Another healing ward down, so he's going to play defensively. Moon going to back off, do some creeping himself with the actual war right there. Got a lot of utility out of this. Walking it from camp to camp. Here comes the human army. Into the war and some trouble, taking a lot of damage from the creeps. Down it goes. Women have to defend. So we repel a couple of these arrows. Tangle. No mana on the Frost Rush Shadow Priest for Dispel, trying to heal through the damage. Moon circling around. Lobs another Entangle, this time on the Frost Rush Shadow Priest. But the Berserker survives. Both players trying to get a tiny bit more experience from the Creep Camp. A town is under siege. Frost Rush Berserker in some trouble. No. Teens were able to keep it safe. As you can see, some riflemen in the mix now. Priests also. Oh, another entangle. Do have the priest. Oh, and he's going to pop a healing ward just to try and outheal the entangle damage. Which uh, is going to be successful as well. Okay, a couple of bears in the mix now. Well, you're dip training though, so can't go into master bear form. It's in the works though, about to complete. Moon and low upkeep now, 15 sway also. A player's force Some is army sizes. But Moon, the one pressing the issue, does have the dryads with the slow poison to help him stay aggressive. Experience here for 15 sway. Hawk lightning and a bit of focus fire on the keeper Quick to repel Moon. He wants to kill the Ogre Magi back here. Gets it. The three though on the Demon Hunter. He's got the heal scroll as well. Rostro Berserker in some big trouble. The double bears running really deep to finish him off, but now they're kind of stuck. The got a sorceress there for the attack. slow. Double bears. Moon having to come back in. Missed micro from him. One of them able to run out. Two footies going down so quickly. Did the sorceress die as well? Don't see any uh, sorceress, so no more slow. Oh, no, there she is. Bear did get away alive. I thought it, for sure Moon was going to lose two of them. Maybe he wants to send these treants into the gold mine. Bit of tug of war over this red camp at the moment. Oh. 
Okay, so he's starting to mix in some breakers now. Here come the trance into the peasant gold line. Do have a guard tower there though as well as the arcane. Takes down those trance so much faster. Forces are under attack. Okay, here comes a monumental number of militia. Is it six? Seven? Seven militia. Fifteen Sway wanted to win this fight. Except he doesn't bring them all the way forwards. Okay, here they come now. A little bit late to the action, though. Stopping halfway. Maybe he wants to put a tower push on. They're heading over towards Moon's expansion, not trying to take part in the fight. It took a while, but there have been a couple more tower pushes lately. What uh, a lot of players had feared. The slight buff to uh, repair the times. Town is under siege. On human towers. A player's forces are patch. under attack. So here we go, 15 sway, getting one going. Three towers down. Upgrading. And Moon pressing in. Score protection. Oh, here come the wisps looking for the detonate. No more mana on most of the casters anymore. That's why having to pull back. Moon fighting strongly at the moment. One tower down. Pence is just nowhere near the towers for repairs. He focused down so quickly. Getting in action, fighting their hardest. Nice staff out. Accidental aggro of the creeps. And there go all the towers. There go all the peasants too, getting chopped up by Moon's army out the back. So this push not terribly successful for 15 Sway. Strange that he didn't leave like even just two peasants close to the towers to do some repairs. Bring them all in to try fight. Oh! The keeper goes down, no way! Uh oh. Well, that's exactly what 15 Sway needed to get himself back in this game. Cold arrow from the Naga Sea, which paying off big there. Pick off another bear. It doesn't have the staff, so. I'll staff that out to safety. Demon Hunter taking quite a lot of damage out the front. Moon turning around. He is a bit slow getting into the action, but here they come now. No more dispel on the drives, they're out of mana. So the slow should be very effective. Oh. There's not quite enough damage Demon Hunter gets out of there. There's a breaker, the bears doing some pretty nasty damage when they do get on top of the human army. There's another rifleman, one bear down though as well. Trying to focus the damage on to the water elemental. And a buyback on the keeper. Still actually attack. pretty well stocked. So no pressure for Moon at the moment to really try to take this fight immediately. But I imagine after this dose of healing he will be quite low. He did get the Wellspring upgrade at some stage though, so plenty of mana in those Moon Wells for healing. Now the pressure's on. His expansion did not get Nature's Blessing, so no extra armor. On his expansion. Forces are under attack. And uh, Moon a little bit slow into the action. Here he comes now. Starting up the repairs. Tensway turning around. Early damage onto the keeper. Damage back onto the expansion. And down it goes Moon so late getting the wisps into repair. It costs him his expo. Oh boy. Ten food down as well. Wow, that was a pretty big mistake from 15 Sway. A player's forces Just are under attack. a tiny bit slow getting in. I mean, uh, by Moon, rather. It's a tiny bit slow getting into the fight. You know, he killed that rifleman that was making its way up there, and then 
not actually like getting any repairs going. Just had one was repairing most of that time. Recamp though, pretty nice item. Ancient Django. More item. Level 5 though, big level up for the Archmage. And has gone for the time of retraining, so he's got Blizzard now. That should be quite nasty against the bears. A player Moon coming on the offensive, coming into the human main, which is not well defended at all. Doesn't even the have an upgraded tower siege. back here. 50 sway. Town portaling back now. The big consumable. He's town portaling across the expansion though, which is also quite open. With all the trees being removed. Oh, but Moon could be in some trouble here. The Militia coming in, looking for a bit of block action. The Slow managing to connect the Keeper in some trouble. A player's force it's a level up. Attack. He does have the Staff. And it uh, looks like 15 Sway is going to disengage. Moon zoning in some more Treants, looking to really just shut down the Gold Mining. It's like if I'm not mining for two mines, you won't either. So far, being quite successful. Slowing down 15 sway a bit. A town is under siege. Yeah, so he's, he's slowed down maybe around 500 gold with this play, which is a reasonable amount. A player's forces are under attack. Perhaps even slightly more, since he's still not f mining at full production here. Another rifle squad coming through. 15 sway pretty much has pop cap limit now. Going back in with the treants, just being annoying, really, Moon. While the Demon Hunter goes for the next red camp. Very close to five, I'm sure he wants that level up and the super strong item. A player's forces are under attack. Oof. Oh boy. Lost a bear there. Ran a golem hitting hard. Valor. Pretty reasonable item for the Demon Hunter. Strength and agility. And here we go. Moon back in 15 Sway's main base. And it looks like he's just going to abandon it for the moment. And he's making a push into Moon's expansion. Just up and running now. The player's forces are under attack. Is Moon going to go for a counter-attack? A town is under siege. One one upgraded at the moment. One zero. Two one on the breakers though. Those breakers are strong. It's just harassing. Left the main base to rot. Under Could lose his keep. Moon just chipping away. With the keeper with the treants. Expansion does go down but... 300 gold left here, so Moon can walk the Tree of Eternity. I imagine he'll walk it into this position instead. A town is Seems under maybe siege. a touch closer. We'll have to wait and see. Looks like things are going to de devolve into a base race, and I feel like generally Moon wins those kind of scenarios. He just has that sense of how to play these. Are under attack. Just like these annoying, harassing styles when he's behind and it makes it work. 15 sway though, in you know, a strong position. Army size lead, not by a huge amount, but he's got the gold coming in. He's got a little bit more gold in reserve down here at the main. Could maybe just do it with a couple more towers at this stage, honestly. Looks like he's going to be going for a workshop though. Maybe he's. he's Hmm. Water teams, I suppose? Doesn't have tier 3. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, he's splitting up his army. I don't know if this is a good idea. His army isn't that strong. Fighting, you know, missing 30 food or so at the moment, and Moon 
does have the 70 food army himself, so this fight, not a good idea for 15 sway. You're gonna lose two breakers for the trouble. Not get much done in return because Moon only has three bears. Not a huge amount to get hit by the blizzard, really. Especially the army now, and this is causing Moon to turn tail and run. But in the meantime, he is in harassing the peasants. Slowing down the golden come Oh, surround attempt. Getting around to staying out of harm's way. He is pretty tanky. 10 armor with the evasion. So much health as well with the crypt and the helm of valor. So he's not really the target you want to be focusing. 15 Sway is mining though from the main base. Expansion, most of his peasants on death's door and moon oh he, he had a tree of life over siege. here i didn't even notice this expansion already down here he's walked the eternity over to this gold mine so moon setting himself up for a strong economy behind all this harassing play human army getting the run around Sorceress there, no, and Viz to stay safe. And uh, one of the towers the goes down even. Siege. So, <laughs> this, oh man, I, I can't imagine playing this as 15 sway. This has to be so annoying, right? Such an annoying start to fight against, but so successful for Moon. Continuously shutting down one or both of 15 Sway's gold mining operations. Picking off a unit here or there. All the while getting his own expansions up and running behind it. And now it's Moon with the superior economy. 15 Sway about to mine out both of his mines. And he's once again going to go for a kill. forces are under attack. On this expansion up here, the Tree of Eternity. Town is under siege. A little bit more resilient. It does have Nature's Blessing this time. As well as a bit more health compared to the standard trees. So it will take quite a while to knock down. Looks like he does have one Mortar Team in the mix, however. Which will help with the damage. And then once again... Shutting down the mining. All the peasants dead. So with a reasonable amount of gold in reserve, can rebuild those peasants without too much trouble. So Moon has to concede the Tree of Eternity. Also the level up on the Naga Sea Witch after that kill. Town portal back from 15 Sway. Moon, a little bit slow on the draw. Staff out from the Demon Hunter though. Keeper over here, also with the staff. Bashing away at the keep. Restarting his peasant production Our now, but no towers over attack. here. So even just like one, the two treants can really hurt 15 Sway's economy. Damage onto the keeper, but staffing out to safety. Still has a reasonable amount of mana in these moon wells. Back up to full. Not quite full on mana, but can go for a clarity. And the Moonstone as well. What's the plan of attack for 15 Sway at the moment? Just camping out his expansion position. Flying Machine Scouting sees the a second expansion, so... Knows what he's up against now at least, but there's actually a third expansion down the bottom corner. I don't think he's expecting this one. Fighting underway. Good bit of blizzard action on the bears. They're going down fast. Water teams as well. Big damage on the dryads. Fight going pretty well for 15 sway so far. Does he have the staying power though? Even under getting low. Staff out. Keeper also getting low. Oh, Naga Sea Witch maybe with a fork lightning. Just out of range. And 
looks like Moon's going to disengage with that. And lose one more bear. On the exit, very close to level 6 on the Archmage. Maybe that will be the turning point for 15 Sway. Even up the mobility stakes. A town so is under moon. With the Dryads, with the Aura item, quite fast just running around the map. But maybe the Mass Teleportation is going to make it in his favour instead. So Moon is just going to let this tree go down. This one up in mining, they already got 500 Clear gold out of it. Big Fork Lightning taking care of the Wisps. Couple Spellbreakers getting caught. Coming out of the main. This gold mine is dry. This one. 1k remaining. Tranquility activated to heal up the army, ready for the next fight. 15 Sway coming back. Moon doing all this, knowing the 15th way is unaware of this expansion. Takes down one of the sanctums. Fifteenth way about five food behind. But pretty similar army sizes overall. Pick off a beer or two, but the staffs keeping them safe. Yeah, Moon just running away. That's what I was talking about. He's got the uh, aura item. Slightly faster army because of it. Slow after slow coming in from the sorceresses. Dryad's finally coming back for some dispel to turn things around. Another expansion coming in for Moon. on the bear. Quite able to get it. Dryad. Okay, takes down the Dryad. Tranquility activated. Mass teleportation in response. But two breakers goes down and the entangle interrupting the mass teleport. Now the Archmage is in trouble. Pops the invol potion. But Moon getting aggressive. Picking off unit after unit. Breakers all down. Not a particularly effective blizzard. Only really hitting one hero. Hunter getting a little bit low. Does he still have the staff? Yes, he does. No mana for Fork Lightning on the Naga Sea Witch, so I couldn't nuke it off to win the game there. A player's forces are under attack. No, I'm not sure he even would win the game because Moon mining from two gold mines. Oh, just about. Able to re rebuild his army quite nicely. Mine's a bear though. Nope, staffed out to safety. <laughs> oh, that staff is so annoying. Alright, we're going to go on double time now. 15 Sway going hunting. Going to find this expansion, looks like, just as it completes. The town maybe looking is under for siege. A bit of long range mining, bit of rally jack action. Not going to fight head on quite yet. Milker's advantage, he's gone for another expansion. This one. Plenty of gold. Okay, mass teleport. He's just gonna let Moon take down his base. Gonna go for Moon's next expansion. Moon now with the 15 food lead, so the next fight gonna be quite greatly in his favour. Looks like 15 so he doesn't even want to take this fight perhaps. Positioning somewhat. Okay, here he goes. Blizzard in. Not hitting too much though. Tranquility activated in response. A player's forces are under Quite a few human units down, but the keep of the grove in some trouble has to staff out to safety. But there's Metamorphosis. Superman. We've got the militia in the mix from 15 Sway doing his best. Really good heal scroll value from him. Now he's mass teleporting out. But I think he just doesn't... Oh, he left his mortar team behind. Slightly out of teleport range. Down it goes. He just doesn't have the army left after that. He dropped, a, you know, 15 or so food in that fight. And Moon lost just about nothing. Let's see which is in trouble this time. 
Down she goes. Dean Sway throws in the towel. Well, it was looking good for Dean Sway after he killed that expansion up in the north. But then Moon, just with that really annoying, harassing style, just didn't allow 15 Sway to get gold out of both his gold mines at the same time and make any kind of effective push. And, you know, just expanded all over the map. Eventually, evened up the economy and even won the economy game. <laughs> That's Moon. I think 15 Sway, you know, maybe should have just built some more towers, honestly. Just maybe like four or five guard towers. No, it's maybe not the most exciting style, but definitely would have shut down what Moon was up to there. But anyway, GG. Anyway, guys, we're wrapping that. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft 3 action. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.